Greetings to all. Welcome to the channel Simtech Zero Five Hypermesh Playlist. And in today's video, I will talk about the few important feature of the Automesh panel. Those are connectivity options. By default, we always keep this connectivity on. But apart from the keep connectivity, we have redo connectivity and break connectivity options. In my previous video, I told that you have to always check on the keep connectivity options and the reason is if you have existing mesh on the particular surface or component the new mesh will be automatically make connectivity make contact with respect to the previous mesh this auto mesh panel basic features i already explained in my previous two videos let me show you just go to the search for simtech 05 and here we have playlist always go through the playlist in the playlist let's find the hypermesh playlist messing in hypermesh and here you have two videos on the auto mesh panel and quick edit so this is the part one this is the part two Okay, those vid videos may little lengthy, but those will be very helpful if you are a beginner and if you don't know the autopass panel, how it works. So after that, I have to utilize this options, connectivity options and what are the other things, okay, like break connectivity and redo connectivity. So for the same, I want to keep only this bonnet component and other all component I want to hide. Okay, those are the orphan mass actually. There we don't have geometry for the component, only we have elements. So what you can do, you can simply find out the component, bonnet component from the list and right click and just click on isolate. But if naming is not proper, like this component is bonnet, but you don't know whether it is so what you can do instead of finding from the main menu you can utilize this options let me show you okay make sure no component is selected go to the isolate one and choose the bonnet component that you want to isolate so this component will only remain so other all will be height go to the some particular view yeah and this component is already meshed the first thing that is orphan mesh and the second thing you want to perform some impact type of analysis and for that not the whole component but this particular reason is area of interest the impact occur only on this reason okay this is the approximated reason i am telling you just for example your area may be anything so to get precise result what you want you want to reduce the element size on the particular zone but the problem is you don't have surface even if you have surface you have to mesh you have to remesh the whole component you have to split it from the mid then you have to go to the fine meshing on the mid then coarser meshing on the outer side so this will be again lengthy so what you can do, you can utilize here this connectivity options, redo connectivity and break connectivity options. First, let me show you the redo connectivity. Okay, if I keep connectivity options, if I use the keep connectivity options, what problem we will face? See, I want to remess only this particular zone. So simply select the element instead of surface these are my element okay and now let's select a perfect you have to zoom in okay so this reason I want to remesh and the remessing size is around 2 
and if I'm using the keep connectivity options and try to mess, you are unable to change density along these edges because the connectivity with respect to the adjacent edges is maintained. So you cannot change the density, but what we want, we want the finer mesh inside the particular zone because my impact is occurring here. Just go to the return button and select the similar type of zone again. I am not going to select it very precisely and use the redo connectivity. Okay. Once you click on the redo connectivity, there we have some more number of options. See, if you are on the keep connectivity, there is no options. If you are in the redo connectivity, it is asking for number of layer for the remassing. Okay. For better understanding, I am going to select this element in perfect rectangle uh, square shape likewise. So, how much layer I want? I want 5 remassing layer. Inside that, I want the element size 2 and because of the deviation in the size, because outer side element size is around 10 and here you have, you will have element size around 2. So, there will be a transition zone. So, in that transition zone, the element size will be vary from 2 to 10 and the number of element will be now click on mesh and see this is my fine mesh zone and this is my transition zone and the transition zone I mean to say the elements in the transition zone will be very okay because we want to keep connectivity with respect to the smaller element size and yield the larger element size likewise even you can change the density if you want to change likewise so this is the redo connectivity options click on return your massing will be done so this reason that you selected is now the finer element reason so you can utilize this options as a transition also okay sometime what we need instead of this transition zone you may think, okay, this region is important. So, what I will do? I will mass this region with the finer element size away from this region. I want to mass with the coarser element size and I will make them tie. Means, let me show you here. So, finer element size 2 you want and instead of redo connectivity, just click on the break connectivity. Again, select a rectangular shape for ease of understanding it will be easy for understanding that's why i'm selecting a perfect square or rectangle and make sure the break connectivity options and just click on mess so what will happen software directly minimize the element size without worrying about the connectivity okay whether those elements are going to be connect with respect to the adjust adjacent element or not software will not worry about that because you used the break connectivity options so this is my area of interest where i am focus for the result away from that region i am not focusing for the result but without connectivity those elements are useless so what you have to do you have to make the tie connection between them so, if you are using the tie connection between these two elements, then only you have to utilize this option's break connectivity. Otherwise, you can use the redo connectivity and software automatically manage the connectivity with the help of try element in the transition zone. And to check the connectivity, just press shift tab 3. And it is asking for elements or components. Select the element. Select this element, whether those are connected or not. Click on find edge. So edge will be found on the outer boundary of the selected element. Okay. 
like if you select these all element so there should not be a free edge inside the selection click on find edge and you can see so free edge is just outside of the selection there should not be any free edge inside the selection so you can see i'm selecting all the element and click on find edge free element free edge should be outer region of the surface or we can say outer edge of the surface but it should not be here okay if you are getting free edge in between the elements it's mean those are not connected and as i told you if you are using tie connection between these two regions then only you have to make such this type of massing with the help of break connectivity sometimes break connectivity options also utilized to improve the existing connectivity for many critical component if element connectivity missed between two element you have to remesh the surface using the break connectivity options you have to define the element as per the adjacent surface element and then you have to manually make them connect how you can manually make them connect like press f3 button and select this node as a first node this node as a second node click on yes so this node is connected now to this one so these all options are already explained please go through the previous videos to check the connectivity so i believe now you are aware to the connectivity options especially redo and break connectivity the previous setting is just previously used options so that's all for this video the automesh panel is not only about the size and bias options here we have number of sub options like auto massing with the help of edge deviation surface deviation rigid body massing and the most important is patch massing in few more video i will try to cover this all topic so thank you for listening if you have any query or question you can put in the comment section and if you want to join my facebook and telegram community you are most welcome to join you can put your questions there also the experienced people will try to answer you thank you again